Ethan Blaze of Arms here, and it's time for the first system test with the Simplex 4001 Fire Alarm Control Panel. This is going to be an extra series that I'm going to be doing on my channel that's going to be completely separate from the 4004 system test series. And that's pretty much all I have to say about it. It's completely separate. There's not going to be an official schedule for this series. It's going to be an extra thing. So what devices do we have in the system? First over here, I have my Gentex Commander 3, which is set to the high frequency tone and it is also set to 75 candela and continuous as well because it will be coded by the panel. On the zone 1 device we have the Firelight BG12 something that's easy to open when it's not on the wall and for zone 3 we have the FCI MS2 another thing that's easy to reset when it's not on the wall because right now I don't have any of these devices on the actual wall this is a temporary setup. I plan to get a board, a separate board for this whole panel and a whole system later on, but as of right now, it is a temporary system. Now you might notice this one wire going up here, it actually goes into the 4004, which is on. Now I'm not gonna reveal any of the devices in the system. And I also have uh, the NAC output disabled, which is why I have a ton of zones or troubles and stuff on. Zone Auxiliary and NAC, and just because I have that switch off, so there will be no sound from the 4004 system. So, as to not reveal any spoilers, um, but that wire goes from zone 6 on the panel down to the relay on that. So, when we have an alarm condition on that panel down there, it'll trigger an alarm on this panel up here. It does not work the other way around, unfortunately, but it's still an interesting thing that I figured I'd show off um, on doing that. So it's just a wire that goes from the Zone 6 terminals down to the relay on this panel. Yeah, and I get it. The wires here, they're not the best. It's a temporary setup, so bear with me, please. And hopefully it'll be taken care of by the next system test with this panel. But, as of right now, this is all we can do. So, without further ado, why don't we start with the Zone 1 device, which is the BG-12. Yep, that's that. And let me acknowledge up here we have a zone 6 fire alarm condition on this because we have an alarm condition on this. So, that's that. So, we won't be able to reset this quite yet because this is still an alarm. I won't be able to reset that without resetting this pulse station first, which will hopefully be easy to open. It is easy to open. Perfect. That's done. And... Unfortunately, if I were to re-alarm the system with this, which I will do right now, actually. Unfortunately, it does not re-alarm the 4004. But that's alright. We don't need it to. So, let's go ahead and reset this pulsation. And then we can reset the 4001 and reset the 4004. This is gonna buzz, so I'm gonna turn off the trouble silent switch until the battery trouble pops up. Then I'll turn it back on. Yes, unfortunately I do have a battery trouble on this panel and unfortunately battery hack does not work with this panel. So I won't be able to do that. So we are stuck with the battery trouble. But that's alright. That's alright. It doesn't affect too much. 
Now we can activate something else again uh, to trigger it again. Actually, let me change the coding on this. I'll be right back. All right, I have gone ahead and changed it to code three. So let's pull the MS2 again. Acknowledge this one up here. Yep, the code three on this is not the best. It's not actual code three, so that's all. That sucks, but oh well. Hey, how come I can't close this now? Oh, there we go. Got it. <laughs> all right, and let's reset this. Maybe the reset button's a little messed up on this. Please, thank you. Reset button has always been messed up on that panel. I would go to press it and it sometimes wouldn't work. But oh well. Let's turn the trouble silence switch like that. And let me actually go into uh, the, not the programming menu because there's certainly not a programming menu on this. But let's change the switches. Did I get that? I think I did. Yep. Hard to tell. And now we have to reset the panel. It turns trouble silence off. I'm gonna put this cover back on. Yeah, changing the uh, coding options a little bit more annoying on this panel than it is on the 4004. Because the 4004 has a menu for everything. Whereas this, it's just a bunch of dip switches. Just a bunch of dip switches. All right, and Let's pull the BG-12 again. Ouch. All right, and up here. And I'm gonna free reset. I'm gonna hit reset on that and see if I can quickly reset everything else. Before this actually resets, I think I did it in time. Yeah, I, I have plenty of time. Yep. All right. That's it for this system test. Uh, hopefully in the future, hopefully in the future, I will have this panel on another board and we will have all four zones hooked up. Uh, but that will be coming in the future, hopefully soon. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this quick system test with the panel. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone. Bye.